behave. I, uh, I'm a recently retired professional triathlete. I competed in triathlon for almost uh, 18 years professionally. My parents, when we migrated from the UK to Australia, uh, decided they would travel around in a 19-foot caravan for almost eight years. I became very, a very introverted kid and kind of by accident, I, I guess I started sport. My sister actually did the first triathlon in the family and she actually did a sprint triathlon. I did a team and I was actually blown away. I couldn't believe how far my sister had swam, biked and ran. It planted the seed and I was like, hmm, maybe I can do it. And so um, I did, I did, I lined up against my sister and did my first triathlon and I beat her. So an opportunity came up where I uh, went to Europe and raced in Germany and I did a few professional races uh, and that enabled me to earn a little bit of money and also get a taste of the professional racing where I thought, huh, this is actually something I could do. But it was, yeah, it was hard those first few years when I didn't have, didn't have sponsors, didn't have a lot of money coming in. I think the struggles that I, I had to get through to get to the point made it, made it really so much worthwhile. And I think it really kind of enabled me to learn how to fight, you know, fight in races, fight for the finish, fight for everything all the way to the end. It is, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of mental. I mean, it's funny because when I'm training, I always used to try and visualize the best athletes in my head, and I would, I would think I'm them. And I think that visualization, like it helps. I mean, I'm never going to look like any of those cyclists, swimmers, runners. I'm always going to look like me, but. It's like this sensation that you have, like that sensation that they make something feel and look so effortless. That's what I try to get. That's what I try to feel when I'm imitating them or when I think I'm um, running or swimming or biking like them. That's how I want to feel. Do you think it comes to life, like the sport becomes life? Yeah. Sport is... You know, it, it's something that can help anybody. Is there anything else you'd like to say? To get to the top is of a mountain isn't an easy walk. It's it's a hard climb, um, but the view when you get there is amazing. So it's a it's a journey, and I try to explain to athletes, or not people who aren't even ath even athletes, but people who want to come to the sport as beginners. It's it's about it's about putting yourself in a place, not just mentally, but physically, which is uncomfortable because anyone can do comfortable.